What's up, everyone? Welcome to Best of 2020. What a weird fucking year it has been. <laughs> I mean, it started out good and great with Nam. You know, Nam of 2020. That was excellent. I was there with Luis. It was great. And then in February, like a big fucking turd, Corona came. But that didn't stop me from making my gear videos. That hasn't stopped companies of releasing new and awesome gear. So this video will be my list of the best gear of 2020, according to me, okay? Don't get pissed off if I don't pick what you like the most, okay? You know, taste is subjective. You know, don't write anything evil in the comments because you might hurt my feelings, okay? Great! Now, the gear of 2020 might not be something that actually came out in 2020, but it's just what I found out to be super awesome for the year of 2020. We're just gonna start with guitar accessory of 2020, and it's none other than this. Now, what is this, you ask? Well, this right here, my friend, is a guitar cable. Huh! This is a klotz. Not a klutz, a klotz guitar cable. And there's not anything really special about this cable, except for this little protection sleeve right here. As you can see, there's a small little, you know, foreskin. You know, maybe in North America, you don't really have foreskins like this, but in Europe, we uh, kind of still have foreskins. What this little foreskin thing makes here, yes, you can see here. Can you see? There's a little outer sleeve on the guitar cable right there. What this does is that when you plug in this cable into your guitar, it just removes all of that static, you know, guitar cable noise that happens when you plug a guitar into something. So this is another really good cable that I'm using. It's a Planet Waves. I love these cables, by the way, but this cable does not have that outer foreskin sleeve. And when you plug in your guitar, it sounds like this. You know how it is when you try to find a hole. It's not real that easy sometimes, so... And there you are. But if you're using the Klotz cable, this is what you get right here. Now, is it changing my life completely? No. Is it a nice feature? Yes. Klotz cable. They're a little bit more expensive, but I really like these cables. Uh, I've been using them for this past year now, and uh, yeah. I'm happy. So that's the guitar accessory of 2020, okay? So for the guitar of 2020, I've tried so many different guitars this year. Uh, signature guitars, Jackson Fenders, ESPs, LTDs, uh, other brands <laughs> that I don't remember. And the guitar of the year for me is this Solar AB 1.6 Gold. Uh, no, it's not this guitar. You know, I'm, I'm gonna leave out Solar guitars out of this, okay? No, but uh, guitar of 2020 for me is this. It's the Charvel Henrik Donhage uh, SoCal guitar. I'm not sure if the video is out before this video, but I made a review out of this guitar. It's an excellent playing guitar and it's a little bit on the heftier uh, expensive side of things. I think it's a little bit too expensive uh, at least in my opinion, but the feature set is amazing and it's just a really good playing guitar right here. This guitar is a great reminder that you don't have to have, you know, the most sleekest uh, of, uh, you know, neck joints or the absolute most modern design uh, things on the guitar. You know, it's just like, here's a guitar, it plays really good and it inspires you. And that is what this guitar has done for me. Uh, it's really an incredible guitar that I feel is definitely the serving of uh, Guitar of 2020 for me. So there it is, the Charvel SoCal Stratocaster. So, for Amplifier of the Year, this is actually a little bit tricky. I have two choices that I have. And uh, it's right over here. Look at that. I think you guys might have guessed which amp it is. Yes, it is the Mesa Boogie Badlander. But I'm going to throw you a curveball right here. This is probably my choice for my favorite amplifier of 2020, but with a twist. Let me plug this in. So for the sake of this video, I professionally put a microphone on the cabinet right here. And, uh, okay, maybe not like that. 
Okay. There it is, just like a pro. Somewhere on the cloth there. It's really an awesome playing amplifier and I think it's really the next step for Mesa where they're starting to create another classic in that sense uh, where it still sounds like a Mesa but it's just more modern. So that makes this amplifier my favorite amplifier of 2020. But I'm gonna throw that curveball I was talking about. So my second favorite amplifier of 2020 is this. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's a Marshall DSL-20. So this is the Marshall DSL-20. I haven't released my video on this, uh, this amplifier yet, but I remember when I was trying the DSL-1 for a Willet Chug, how impressed I was with the actual sound of that small little amplifier. Now I tried this, I already recorded a video, but it might not be out, but I was just pretty blown away. Now this is a 20 watt amplifier with two EL34 uh, tubes, and it delivers a solid saturated melatonin right here. And it does it with a great price, I must say. I think this head right here is about 450 euros or 450 dollars, which is a really good deal for a full tube amplifier right there. So this is my little curveball right there. There will be a video of this coming soon, I promise. Okay. If we're talking amplifiers, I also have to mention my favorite cab of the year. I got this Mesa Oversize cabinet in the beginning of the year. I've received a couple of other cabinets after that, but this one just sounds incredibly awesome. This is definitely one of my favorite cabinets I've ever owned. And it's just insanely good sounding. And another favorite microphone of mine that I started using this year is this Neumann TLM 102. It's a condenser microphone that I think is really f***ing good. You might think that it was funny that I was doing this before. I'm setting a camera, I'm setting a microphone real professional. But the thing is that you can basically place it anywhere and it sounds pretty f***ing good. So it's definitely my microphone of the year if that's a thing. Great. Alright, so with the amplifiers out of the way, what is the pedal of the year? The distortion pedal of the year, that's what everyone's been waiting for. You know, the pedal is the perfect product where, you know, you don't have to spend too much money, but you can still change your tone completely. So that's why the pedals are so important nowadays. I mean, not everyone is gonna fork out this amount of money on an amplifier. I mean, distortion pedals just makes a lot more sense, in my opinion. It's the way of the future, okay? So my favorite Pell distortion for 2020 is this one. The Empress Heavy. Now this is a two-channel complete metal distortion pedal right here. I mean, there's no question about why they made this pedal. It's for metal. And I tried this for a Woolet Chug. I've tried many pedals for Woolet Chug this year. But this one just left me with a smile on my face because this is probably the closest to a uh, distortion preamp sound that I've gotten through uh, from a pedal this year. And it's just, it's just immense sounding. I mean, look at this. Right now I have it connected to the effects loop of this Marshall DSL-20, okay? It's just a massive sounding pedal right there. It also has a gate in it, and there's also the heavier. Okay, let's try heavy. This 
little thing right here just sounds incredible. I must say, it sounds really, really fucking good. So those were all of my favorites of 2020 when it comes to guitar-related gear. I will have links to all of these in the description of this video. But before I leave, I just want to let you know about my absolute favorite audio product of 2020. It's something I've been using every single day for this past year. It's the Apple AirPods Pro. Now, you know, I'm an Apple fanboy. I mean, no question about it. I'm a, I'm a sucker for Apple products. But this has probably been the best product from Apple in a very, very long time. These are absolutely batshit insane and incredible. And if you're an iPhone user, I highly recommend getting these. I've been using these every day for the past year. I'm, I just keep it in the ears and, you know, I'm on my Discord talking to my members uh, all day while I'm still working on things. The noise cancelling is absolutely insane. I can sit at home doing a Skype meeting or something like that and the kids can be running around, you know, screaming or whatever. I, ha I can't hear them because the noise cancelling is so good. They're on par with some of the better Bose noise cancelling products that I've had, uh, that I've traveled with. I've traveled with these on a plane. These are really fucking good. And uh, it's the product I'm using the most for this past year. So I can't pass this up. The battery life is great. Uh, what I usually do as a little tip for me is that I just do one ear like this and I keep the other one in the battery compartment. And after a couple of hours, when this one is done, I just switch, go back. Then you never have to worry about battery life or anything like that. So uh, it, it's simply a great, great product that I can't recommend enough. And no, this is not a sponsored video, you know? I'm just saying, these are just the products that I've really enjoyed this year. I hope you liked this video. I'll put some links to all this shit down there in the description. You can go check it out for yourself. Otherwise, you guys, I'm really looking forward to next year and just seeing all the new incredible products that we're gonna get. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you soon, guys, okay? Have a great, happy new year. Okay, thank you, bye. Oh, I forgot to make my pun. Shit. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, so, yes, the Empress Heavy is just a really, really good pal. You could say, I got really impressed by Empress. <laughs>